Friends, can I just tell you, I don't think I've ever read three chapters in a row. I must just be in a really good mood or something. I don't know. But they, are, they do seem a little bit shorter than the first chapter or two, so why not? Here we are. It's a beautiful day. Might as well just spend some time reading. Okay, I'm saying it's a beautiful day like we're outside. It's kind of silly, right? Okay, the next chapter is called Pond Scum. Hmm. Judy worked on her report all weekend. In science on Monday, the class presented its endangered species. Frank told the class how a monkey face mussel got its name. Jessica Finch showed a tiny pig toe shell that looked like a striped Hershey's kiss. Judy bragged about the importance of the Northeast beach tiger beetle. Here are, here are some of what they drew or posted. Tiger beetles recycle dead trees and eat tons of harmful insects, so don't step on them. They are really fast and tricky, like tigers. Their rainforest cousin, the Hercules beetle, is six inches long. Tiger beetles make a loud buzzing sound like this. Bzzz, the end. When they were all finished, Mr. Todd said, good job. Thank you all for raising our awareness of these special creatures. Remember, if you find one of these animals in the wild, put it back. It's important not to remove creatures from their natural habitats. Suddenly, Judy had an idea, an Einstein idea. It was time to call a secret club meeting. She passed a note to Frank. Emergency meeting of the Toad Pee Club. Today, pass this to Rocky. There it is. And yes, my friends, you heard right. The Toad Pee Club. Woo. Oh, and there's the actual note. Sorry, that's on the next page. Jessica leaned forward, trying to see Judy's note. I'll bet you can't spell the word endangered, hissed Jessica. Yes, I can, said Judy. G-O-N-E, gone. Judy had ants in her pants all through spelling. Bzzz. At last, the bell rang like a sweet chorus of buzzing tiger beetles, and she, Judy Moody, was G-O-N-E, gone. There, we've got those three spirals again. After school, Frank, Rocky, and Judy crawled inside the blue tent in Judy's backyard. While they waited for Stink, Judy whispered the plan to Frank and Rocky. I'll get rid of Stink, said Rocky, and I'll keep an eye on Toadie, said Frank. Finally, Stink crawled inside the tent, carrying Toadie, their mascot, in a yogurt container. Where are we going to put Toadie, asked Stink. Over here in the corner by me, said Frank. I'll guard him. And don't pick him up with your bare hands, Stink, or he'll get you. If you know what I mean, Judy warned him. Hey, did you know if you change two letters around in Toady, T-O-A-D-Y, you get today, T-O-D-A-Y, asked Stink. And I'll show you guys that so you can see. It's true. If you just rearrange the letters, you could do that in your making words activity sometime. That's nice, Stink, said Judy. Did you know if you add three letters to Stink, you get Stink Bug? Stink ignored her. It's squishy in here, he complained. Try making yourself a little smaller, Stink. People take up way too much room on the planet. That's why we have so many problems. Oh, brother, said Stink. Why are we here anyway? No reason, asked, said Rocky. He kicked Frank's shoe and Frank nudged Judy and all three cracked up. Let's brainstorm, said Frank. You know, think up stuff we can do in our club. Ooh, we were just brainstorming last week, friends. Even though it's really hot and crowded in here. I'm too squished. It's too hot in here to brainstorm, said Stink. It's global warming, said Judy, right here in Virginia. Stink panted like a dog. <sighs> Stink, don't breathe so much. You'll ruin the ozone, said Judy. There's already a hole over Antarctica. You're in the ozone, said Stink. <laughs> he crawled out of the tent. Perfect, said Judy. Judy, Rocky, and Frank double high-fived each other. And you forgot to take Toady, said Rocky. T-O-D-A-Y is your lucky day, T-O-A-D-Y. Today is the day we save the world, starting with you, Judy said. Frank picked up Toady. Toady blinked. He doesn't look endangered. No, but your hand is endangered, said Judy. Better put him back. I kind of hate to see him go, said Frank. But Mr. Todd said, remember, if you catch a creature in the wild, you have to put it back. Toad napping is the same thing as hurting the planet, Judy explained. Just think how happy he'll be, said Rocky. They carried Toadie down to the stream behind Judy's house. 
I'll miss you, Toady, Judy said. But the time has come for you to join your Toady friends and do your Toady things. Go make this planet a better place. On the count of three, Judy, Rocky, and Frank gently tipped the yogurt container on its side and let Toady go. Goodbye, Toadster, said Rocky. Watch out for acid rain, said Frank. Toady blinked once, then bloop, he plopped into the water. In one, two, three bubbles, Toady was gone. Friends, I'm going to pause for a minute and show you that word of how they spelled that sound to make for showing how he jumped into the water. It's not a real word, bloop, but that's like I knew exactly how to read it, like bloop, that kind of thing. So you can think about how you would make up a word that sounds like the sound you're trying to make. It's kind of a fun way to write. Nice send off, said Frank. It's for a good cause, said Rocky. Totally awesome, said Judy. Ah, get it, instead of totally. Totally. Rocky and Frank went home. She, Judy Moody, was on her way to making the world a better place. The Toad Pea Club had taken one small step for toad kind and one giant leapfrog for humankind. Different part of the chapter. It took Stink one hour and 28 minutes to notice that Toady was missing. Endangered, as in G-O-N-G, -G, gone. Toady's gone? asked Stink. Oh no! What if he got swallowed by a snake? Or gobbled by a giant hawk? It's all my fault for leaving him in the tent. Why didn't you do something? I did, said Judy, and she broke the good news about letting Toady go to make the planet a better place. If Stink were a poison dart frog, he would have spit poison at Judy. If Stink were a volcano, he would have spewed lava. It's not fair, Stink moaned. Toady was my pet. Ooh. What a great way to illustrate someone feeling that angry and upset. Toady belonged to all members of the Toad Pea Club. But I took care of him mostly, said Stink. How can letting him go make the world a better place? It makes a worse place if you ask me. Stink, you'd be pond scum if you kept Toady locked up in that aquarium, said Judy. That aquarium is like being in jail. You're going to be in jail as soon as I tell Mom and Dad. Look at it this way. Toady gets to be free, and now there will be even more toads. Don't you get it? I get that you stole my toad. Sometimes Stink could be as stubborn as a hard-headed hornbill. Now we don't even have a mascot for our club, said Stink. Judy grabbed the mouse. Judy grabbed Mouse. Mouse could be our new mascot. The Mouse Pea Club? I don't think so, said Stink. See, if it weren't for Toady, there wouldn't even be a Toad Pea Club. There will be other toads to pee on us, Stink. I promise. I'm still telling, said Stink. And that is the end of that chapter. The next chapter is called, oh, um, yeah, you might like this part. It says Luna 2. And the first word, once again, is the. Bye.